the 2 January 2020 Advisory Committee to order. You stand for the pledge. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right. I do reserve the right to change the agenda, move things around a little bit, because there's two items that should have been together. First, Happy New Year to everybody. Hope everybody had a good holiday season. Um, we don't have minutes from the last meeting, so I think we're up to date on all minute approvals. Um, item four is the uh, invite. Uh, everybody should have seen that invite to the committee discussing the Narragansett Regional Budget, um, but this kind of goes into our ad hoc committee request or lack thereof. Um, I watched the Board of Selectmen meeting back in December. Um, there was one member that was very vocal. Uh, they did. My impression was they don't want to do anything. Um, they, I think that they're saying they do. Uh, I have not received the charge for us to review. Um, I, I, I guess I'm not really pleased with the fact that uh, they didn't come to one of our meetings and say, "Look, here, here's where we're here's where we're thinking on this. What's your thoughts?" Since we did make the request, it's almost like, and I looked at their agenda for next week, and it's not on there either. So I believe what they've done in lieu of that is they've been having meetings with the school superintendent and his staff, the Board of Selectmen, but I don't think it's the whole board, the Phillipston Board of Selectmen, and the school committee. They, I received an email from Carter. I think everybody should have gotten it. Um, basically are inviting us to participate in that meeting. Um, I believe the next meeting is next week. Six sticks out in my mind. Or it's Monday. Seven. Is it Monday? Monday the sixth. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's it, that's the date. I'm not sure when the meeting. Oh, I'll have to look it up, but I'm pretty sure it's next week. <clears throat> so my first question is: Is this something we want to participate in, Mr. May? I'll respond to that. Um, personally, I'm not. Res I'm not going to participate okay. in it. Um, I uh, don't agree with taking the proposed review of the school system um, out from public view and putting it behind closed doors um, in any stretch. So that's what I believe this does, and I'm not going to participate. Okay. Um, my, my thought is... Um, we, we asked for a committee to see what type of school, not system, but districting, regional, whatever, uh, is best for the town of Templeton. Obviously, the current school uh, regional agreement we have is not working for this town of Templeton. It may work for the town of Phillipston, but that's our charges for the town of Phillipston. Correction, town of Templeton. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're trying to figure out. So by doing this, they're just trying to, I believe, just trying to get us to go along. Okay, yeah, they give us insight into their process, but I like what you said. I don't believe it's being filmed for the public or anything. Uh, uh, entertain any other comments? <laughs> you really want to hear my comment? <laughs> Make them short. <laughs> I, I, I think I already know how you feel. I think all of us feel the same way. So uh, I'm. This is to me. This is to get around the fact that they saw that we asked for an ad hoc. Ad hoc to me means they can end up, has nothing to do w with the, the school system per se. I have some information that under new business or old business that uh, I, or even under the ad hoc thing, I will end up sharing with you. Uh, you can share it now. We're, we're oh, doing okay. You want to share it now? Yeah, we're doing uh, four and seven together. Oh, okay, kind of. okay. Uh, I, I'd, I'd like to take and share it. One of the things that that is really Frost me all over this is that number one we got very easy for us to take end up getting information because we can end up looking stuff up and one of the things I have is the regional school district number one 
Now, I, in, in my, my impression of when it was brought forth for us to do the ad hoc was to think and we look at, at this as to what is best for Templeton. Not as what's best for Templeton and Phillipston. I want to look for our community. I'm looking out for our community. We've been criticized both in emails yep. and in social media for not doing our, our due diligence, mm -hmm. so to speak. And here I have some real good information is it's, it's not even 25 miles from here. We have a great opportunity to take a look at how this school district is set up in the town of Orange, the town of Petersham, Irving, Wendell, New Salem, and all those communities. Just looking at the, the, the fact that in, in Maha is set up as a regional school district for the high school. Mm -hmm. They have a separate, believe, me, believe it or not, they have a separate school committee meeting or school committee for that. You can go on and, and find this information. This is, this is not something that, that I'm, I'm coming up with. Wendell, same thing. They're in, they're in a, 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 a union, uh, a, a school union. Orange has an elementary school, a school, uh, uh, school committee, and so does in Petersham. And when you start looking and digging into that, the dollars and cents for all of those buildings go to those communities into their school. It's not to the district. Those school committees manage those individual schools, mm -hmm. especially when, the, when you end up hearing Phillips and say they want to continue their school. I want to help them. As, as a member of this community, I want to help them do the right thing for their community and also ours. If you look at how it's set up and everything else, let me, let me, because I got a lot, a, a lot of paperwork here. They have, let's see, the school committee, let's see, they, they have the Swift River School, Irving School Union, uh, which is comprised of Wendell, New Salem, Irving, Leverett, and Shrewsbury. Mm -hmm. And they also, Wendell is also part of Maha. Okay, so that tells me all those small schools are done by their individual communities and they are, are a district. What gets me is we're in a, a school district. Here. <coughs> they call it a district school, but there was, n there was no partaking from Phillipston for funding the new school. Mm -hmm. If they're truly, if we're truly a district, where was their money? Okay, I, I'll, I'll give that up. Okay, no, they want to keep, point. they want to keep their school. That's okay, but don't be sending our kids, your kids over here, if that's the case, and not pay. And, and I go along with what you said: is there's a, there's a, a, a disparity as far as who supports what school to what percentage. Right. Well. So, I'm all for the town of Phillipston having what they want, but not at the expense of Templeton taxpayers. That, that's the biggest problem I have, and I think what you're showing here, Will, is the fact that there are other districts yep. that have, okay, we all go to the same high school, in this case, Mahar, but as it comes to elementary schools, there are different agreements where maybe Orange has its own elementary school and they take care of it and you know like you talked about with Irving with, yep. with the other with the Swift River District and, and all those other things so I think well I think you're saying the same thing that yeah. we've been saying and it, all, it, let, all. let me just read one of them it says elementary budget adoption process procedure authority for adoption of final school budget lies with the citizens who comprise and who are entitled to vote at town meeting. Right. The school budget is presented as part of the, town, the total town budget for action at annual town meeting. That's, yeah. that, this is documentation that you can end up getting off of this site. Right. So, if you dig so, hard enough, it's there. So I think all the information you have 
is a good um, case study, if you will, for yes. the fact that maybe there's nothing wrong with us having a regional agreement for the middle and high school, but maybe the elementary schools can be still be in the same district. Yep. It's just the percentage of who pays for what for those schools is the difference. And I right. think that was sort of the purpose of part of the purpose of the ad hoc committee is to look at what Templeton is paying and say, okay, we understand the operating costs of the two schools. You know, I, I believe you take the middle high school sort of out of it because that is truly a district school owned by the district. This school's owned by the town of Templeton. And you're right. If somebody from Phillipston wants to send their kids, it's school choice. Exactly. So, exactly. So I, I agree. Uh, Amy or Lee, do you have any comments on the... Uh, Can I want uh, one more point? Yep, sure. Knowing this, I say that we should end up, and it was pointed out, that we should end up having a committee, an advisory committee, look into this. If we don't, if, if, the, if, if the selectmen don't want to end up having an ad hoc committee, we can look at, at it from a standpoint of our community and our finances. We've got the beginnings here, and if we dig in as a, as a committee to, to, de to, do, to do this, we can end up coming back and saying, this is our recommendation, Mr. Se Mr. and Mrs. Selectman. I think the problem you have with that, and I agree, but I think the problem, and, and Bob and I have discussed this, is we really don't, for want of better words, wield any power. So we can ask for information, but they don't have to give it to us unless we do a FOIA request, which can get really messy. Where the board, if we have the ad hoc committee, a member of the board of selectmen can ask for the information. And well, I think you're going to find out that if you ask for it and you say you are from the advisory and this is what you're looking for and you send them an email or whatever or you call them up, they're going to be more than willing to take and end up giving you information on their breakdown. Mm, well, I don't know. I, I mean, it's, this is all public information. Right, but it's it's public information with with access that's segmented because all, from the Mass General Laws, from my understanding of it anyway, only the Board of Selectmen has the ability to question the district finances. We, as the advisory committee, have oversight over Templeton's finances, mm. you know, without limitation. But it stops right at Phillipson's line, and it stops at anything that's not supported by Templeton's money at the school. Mm -hmm. So that's a big part of the school that we don't have eyes on, that we're not going to have. And, and you're right. We could say that, oh, we want this and everything, but I will tell you this, Will, and, and I think you'll agree with me you know, just off the top, that I've asked for all kinds of information, and I've gotten all kinds of information. And you can make whatever you want out of it because, you know, it differs. It depends on the day you ask for it, who you ask for it, and Are how you Are you talking ask about local, it. on a local level here or from, from the, the, this, this uh, school districts? I'm talking about here. This oh, is the okay. only place I'm talking about is Templeton okay. right now. I'm not talking yeah. about anything else. I'm talking about looking at our situation, you know, um, to what we were talking about the ad hoc committee doing, because yep. the ad hoc committee wasn't so much looking for what other places are doing. It was first trying to measure what we're doing. Here's, here's what I'm... You, as you know... I, I understand said, what you're saying, You I can't what you're manage it if you don't measure it. I understand what you're saying. But from that perspective, yeah, you're, you're probably right. But the perspective I'm looking at is looking at outside of Templeton, at a district on how it's set up. Well, right, but I think and break it down. You've already just saying, shown how it's done. I mean, I, I don't think you have to look at any others. I think you just showed a great example right there of how five or six uh, surrounding towns, because they're not far from us, yep. have um, said, okay, let's get together for for the high school. I don't know if Mahars Middle School is part of that too. That's I um, think it's a seven to twelve. I'm seven sure. to twelve. Yeah. Seven to and, twelve. And then for the elementary. You know, the towns do other things, whether it's their own school or they go with a couple of the smaller towns. And, and I think you've already just proven the case that they're, they're, it can be done. I, 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 
for that information, I don't think you even need to go any further. You have you have the proof right there that split agreements, if you will, work, that's or at least are a viable thing. Can work. That's that's what I'm thinking. Listening to this, I mean, absolutely, that um, setup is something that should be looked at. But I think we need to know where are we stand as far as look what the ad hoc committee was supposed to do. Yep. Look at what we're where we're spending our money, what we're spending it on, and then we can look at if it's better to break it down, let's say elementary school, high schools, district here, municipal here, and, and so forth, or combining them with other regions. I think those are all yeah. viable options, but I don't think until we know where we stand should we look elsewhere to where we move. Yeah, I, we've got to understand our full picture. Yeah, I agree with that. that this is my thing. Well, I think if I'm you... I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I think... No, I agree with that. The, the, the uh, superintendent has said he, he's, he, he believes in transparency. This, is, this will be a test of the transparency. If you ask him for the information and break it down for the communities. If you don't, then you know, then you know that, that, we're, that we're, we're being stonewalled. And it... I mean, we can, right now I can, we can say, go public, basically we can go public on that and say we're being stonewalled because we want to look out for Templeton. I'm pretty well, sure I've already done that. Right. Because I, I got five different any. numbers. Have and you put I, it out on social publicly, media? Have you publicly? I said it at the town meeting. Yeah. Not enough people are listening. I, I, you know, and that's I, not I, my I, responsibility. I, I just say it when I say it. And I've said it out there. I pointed this out that I got five different numbers for our October 1st student enrollment number, right. five. Yep. But remember, they'll also, he will. T he told us in that meeting I that it changes almost daily. I, I, I know the rationale, sure. but yeah. this, the right. October 1st number yeah. is the number. So, and then, um, so one of the things I would say with social media is, no, shut up. Um, <laughs> it's, there's a lot of misinformation or people's opinions out there that get taken for facts. So while I think there is some good to be gleaned from social media. Um, well, if you put an email that you sent and you get a response and you put that out there, that's, that's not hearsay. And that's not an opinion. Okay. Pure, pure and simple. I, Those I are no honestly, longer. Well, I think we're all, we're in a violent agreement here because I agree with the information. I think you found some great information yep. for, for us, but so, so let's get back to, to this committee that yep. they're having on one Tuesday a month that nobody tapes. Um, does anybody else have any opinions or comments on it? I think it's bullshit, that meeting. I mean, I, I feel like we asked for the ad hoc committee so that we could all be on the same page yeah. at the same time. Yeah. And I think we saw it as an opportunity to continue to work together with the other committees, with mm -hmm. the Board of Selectmen, all the other people that need to get their their input into something like this. Yeah. I don't think any of us thought we were gonna have a little committee get together and solve the district problems in three weeks and redo the district and we're gonna whip it up. That's not what any of us imagined. This is your we naivety wanted... that I've been saying right along. No, 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 but no, no, no we, right. what I'm right. saying yeah, is I, saying, right. I think that we all knew exactly what we were asking for yep. and I felt very much like the tone was like, isn't that cute? They want to have a little meeting. That's so cute. That's fun. No, no, let's give it a year. Well, I don't want to give it another year. I don't want to wait another year, it takes a year but if we do... But if we do all the work on our own and we come forward and say we think that Templeton is best served by this. Right. We've had no one else be at those conversations with us. We'd have we've had no other input. We'd have nothing else. And I really feel like it would if be met with the, the same yeah, but thing. If you present the documentation to them, what are they going to be like? They're going to do exactly that's what great. they did with the ad hoc. And that, thank, thank you, you very much. Thank you. We'll just put this we'll over here. Out of consideration. And that shows you. And I don't want that. Th that shows you that those folks need to go. Well, that's, that's okay. not what Let's, this is about. I just, about, I, I just, I'm just saying. No, no, that, that's not what this is about. But because I believe that there were a couple people that supported it. Uh, there was one, one of the one of the members of the board of selectmen was vehemently against it. Um, which I didn't understand why. There was, I think, 
completely misunderstand they completely misunderstand the purpose of the ad hoc committee. I think we all just saw it as a request for information, yeah. a request to work together to get information to better serve and educate the taxpayers from this side of the right. forum. We're here to watch these things. We're here to look at how the reality of this impacts everyone, us as taxpayers and everyone else right. as taxpayers. And I don't know if either that wasn't properly received well, or if they received it just fine and they, whoever it is, just thinks it's not not a great idea. We don't want to upset the apple cart. And I, I'm well, with Will. I think it's that, yeah, garbage. It, well, that's exactly, exactly what I thought. That's exactly and this is, what I thought that person was saying. The they didn't want to upset the apple cart. Right. By the way, this is not, this is not something new. No, I know. This is something that I've been saying right along. Mm -hmm. and, I, and, I, and I know you folks think that things have gotten better. They are perceived to get better, but it's still bullshit. We're always hopeful, Will. Okay, so, uh, I, and I, so, so and you're I, right. And I, it's okay. So from our perspective and our time And I'm on still that, hopeful that we can end up doing something. I'd like to take an end up. If I, if I look back at uh, a lot of my emails for the end of the year, I mean going back seven years, and all the times that we made public presentations to the select board and private ones, sending emails, and I'm saying, they don't want to work with us, and this administrator doesn't want to work with us. And I know how you, 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 I you, don't are, you get along with, with that. him. I understand that, but I don't. My sense is that we're just in the way. Um, he would prefer not to take an end up having, you know, when you end up meeting and you have good conversations, back and forth conversations give and take, you come to a, a final agreement on a, a, a consensus on what, how to take and end up best serving your community. As long as I'm on this community, I'm going to fight for the members of this community. Right. That's whether I you, what we did. Whether folks mm -hmm. disagree or not, and, I, and, I, and, I, and I'm... I mean, I'm, nobody's questioning And, and, and I'm, I'm, I'm always, always apprehensive Number one, when I ask for stuff. Number two, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that things change, that folks can see that just because we're asking questions and trying to push for something good, that we can get together and do something good for this community and not, and not be the where, where we are. Now, and I want to say that if you're, what you're saying is exactly what I believe we're trying to do with the ad hoc. We're trying to say, That's right. do it together, yeah. Or we're not going to do it because, you know, for us to do it and present it to them, you know exactly what's going to happen. Yep. We're going to have a presentation here just like Paul put out. We're going to have, you know, a PowerPoint presentation, all this, and everybody's going to go, thank you very much. Bye. And that's the last you're going to hear about it unless you bring it up again. So and it, here's, here's, here's where I think we, we failed. It's okay to take an end up doing that, Bob. And, and it, well, yes, it's not we've, okay. yeah. we, we've done that a number of times, and it's, it's been dropped. Who's dropped the ball? Has it been us? No. But, and, and, if, and but honestly, the problem is you don't it, want those decision makers dropping the ball. And in fact, they are the decision makers when it comes to this stuff because they're the duly elected town officials. And so, so for us to present stuff, like you said, you've seen it. Thanks very much. And I think, you know, perfectly, and I, the only place in, in your entire conversation that I would disagree at all yeah. is I don't think the resistance comes from the administration. I think it comes from a couple distinct members on the select board who are just afraid of upsetting anybody. Well, not only upsetting people, but... Well, whatever it is. They, it's just it's, personality it's not, it's, over it, principle. What I, what I think also, too, is it's not my idea, and they've got the idea, and I'm some, somewhat threatened. I, I mean, you, I can't say that per se, but they may be somewhat threatened that the fact is they haven't come up with it, and they're supposed to be the leaders of this community. And to take it, but they should be looking at it on a positive side is that we're there to support them in their job. I think there's a couple of them that would agree with that stance. But like like Bob said, I think there's a couple that don't. It, it was said they don't want to set up the ad. Like this meeting that they're having, obviously they've met once or twice 
and now we're just kind of getting an invite to it, which is kind of disingenuous to me. It's like, oh, by the way, now that they want to do this ad co- ad hoc. You found meeting, out about it. Now you can come. Yeah. So <laughs> you can come to this meeting if you want. And I think that, I, I, I don't know, maybe, maybe their thought is if we send a representative to that, then the ad hoc will go away. It shouldn't. It shouldn't. I There's mean, another I'm, reason not to go. Debbie, do you have any comments on it? This is the meeting, the once a month meeting they have with all those people. Are they, ta- they're tackling the budget is what they're doing? Are they like, because I thought the ad hoc committee when, we, when Faith and Bob um, made the motion to recommend it was really specifically looking at what the cost of a regional school system versus municipal. Yes. Yeah. And so I don't know if that's something that they're specifically looking at at this meeting or if that's even going to be a consideration. So if it's not and it doesn't meet the need of what our ad hoc committee wanted to, I mean, it, it, there I might be benefit does. from from getting the information firsthand and having somebody at the meeting, but that doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to get that that cost comparison that you're looking for between the two options of a district or a municipal. Well, to go to one step further is – I'm not happy with them doing that. But it would behoove us that they can at least have somebody go to that meeting. Mm-hmm. Whether you sit there as a lump of coal and take just the information or or, or whatever, or you want to participate. I'm that's sorry, the next meeting is 115. 150. That's the special town meeting. That's special yeah. town meeting. It's 18. There was there's gonna be a workshop. That was, oh, I was sorry. looking I'm at sorry. a different email. I'm, I'm sorry. So yeah. the meeting the 8th is a workshop, and this is one of the... Oh, I see. Okay, towards that, we're seeking to have you... Um, I, I think we should right? at least Am have I reading a representative. That properly? Yeah. Well, you just, you just said why I can't go well, because I can't I stay can't quiet, follow. so... <laughs> well, well, I, I, That's just defeatist talk. <laughs> it is. Bob. You're right, Bob. Have I, have I, have I been defeated? So, Good. So, uh, Bob, so, so, Bob you, and, you and I would have a hard time <laughs> being there. I nominate Bob and Will to go. So, so before, yeah. before we go... and pick a fight. So, so, <laughs> so yeah, and so not be there. Know, I already know Bob doesn't want to go, and I know Faith doesn't want to be part of it, because she emailed me. Um, is there anybody that would want to be a part of it? How often are they meeting? It looks like they're going to meet once a month, if I recall right. So right now, if it's on the 8th, I can't. I will be out of town. I don't think I don't. For me personally, I don't feel like, I think I'm with Bob and Faith. And if it's going to be, well, I I assume Faith, I didn't speak with her specifically. But if it's behind closed doors and if it's no agenda, not recorded, and it's everybody just sort of chit-chatting, I don't know that I want to be part of that either. I'll make a motion then. Do we need a motion? Oh, oh okay. hold on. Let, well, let me let me find. Let's see um, what Deb says. Okay. Let me find the um, the email with regards to that. <laughs> well, I'll ask a question while he's looking for that email. Is it since there's the concern about it being behind closed doors? If somebody here is in attendance and then comes back and reports to everybody during yep. our meeting, that would put the information out there. No. Yes. It would. Yep. Even if it's just minutes, uh, it notes. So, so before we make a motion to send whether we're going to send anybody, I oh. guess I'd want to know is anybody interested in being that person? I'm not. I have a meeting on our. I know Bob's not, and I know Faith's not. And then Lee, you said you're not here. Nope. I might not be able to make the eighth, but after that. It depends. On what do you know? What time they meet? I, I don't know. I'm sure I have the email somewhere, but there were. It's a probably lot during of them. the day. I'll have, no, I think it's in the evening. My motion wasn't to think and end up having a person go. By the way. Um. Because I don't, I don't mind going and listening and taking notes and bringing it back to everybybody just to understand. Because it's going to happen whether we have somebody in there or not. So I'd rather have somebody exactly right. in there. You exactly know, at right. least whether we're being part of the process or just understanding what's happening while they're there. I'll, um, let me just send this real quick. Um,
Is that that the, is that the thing that end up seeing what the schedule is? Also, also, if you could ask ask what the agenda is, and is this a is this going to be a public meeting or not? If it's a public meeting, it it should be taped. Make that statement. We'd be happy to participate. Well, That's what, that I was don't want to put conditions on them. Is there? Why Just not? give me the details, and if I can go, I'll go. Agenda. I make no promise to sit silently. Agenda, and if we need Six, two people, seven, I mean, eight, we can four, either. Eight. That way, if you can't go sometime, I can go. You know well, what I mean? We can go and make it a game. It'll be fun. <laughs> we could go Who's together. Who's coming today? Right? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll right, go and, we'll and make sure Amy behaves. So. <laughs> no deal. <laughs> I always behave. It's disappointing. Um, if we have, I guess we would have to appoint you to go, since it was a requested meeting. Okay. Um, well, then I make a motion that we appoint both of us. Okay. okay. I'll second. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so I have a motion to appoint Amy and Deb to attend the meeting. We'll get the information with the boards of selectmen, school districts. I believe it's one Tuesday a month for right now. It could get into more. I don't know. Um, and I have a second. Uh, Bob, any other discussion? Yeah, the people in this community should be upset that things are being done by, behind closed doors with the school, especially after what we have gone through in this last six months so before we say it's being done behind closed doors let's get an opportunity to get somebody there see what's going on what's really happening there mm -hmm. um before we characterize it as some type of nefarious action um, has it been uh, open has it been posted i don't i don't know what they've done i don't even know if they've actually had a meeting or if I they've see. decided no i'm, hey, I'm asking yeah we don't you know about as much about this as I do. <laughs> okay, well, I just got the email from Carter saying, hey, we're going to start having this meeting. Would you guys like to attend? Sounds like they've already met. Well, I think they've met at least once, and maybe at that meeting, maybe they said, hey, maybe we should have a member of the Board of Advisory Committee on and the Finance Committee from Phillipston. So. You have a motion. Yeah, we have a, a motion second. and a second. Yeah. Bob? Yes. Amy? Yep. Lee? Yes. Deb? Yes. Well? Yes. And I'm a yes. Thank I don't you see both. anything Thank on you. the town agenda. No, we'll get the information. But we'll get the information because it, I don't know, maybe it's not on this one because it's not here. It's not I think we should still, as far as the ad hoc, it's is to take a look in it from a perspective of this committee. Open meeting. I, meeting. I, I know what you're saying, Will. I just don't think that. I, I agree with Bob. I just think I don't want to go through all the motions of putting something together and it just being cast off. And right now, I feel like that's what's going to happen. I want it to be a joint effort with the Board of Selectmen. This is my personal opinion. Uh, a joint effort with the Board of Selectmen and members of the community, um, so I, I think it holds more teeth doing it that way. Because then you have the Board of Selectmen buy-in into at least the product that is developed from it. Does it mean that we have to go as a committee to a Selectmen's meeting to and talk about the ad hoc committee? Instead of just sending, sending them the, the email and requesting that? Um, because this 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 is a runaround to me this yeah. this other meeting is just a runaround. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't know what this other meeting. is. <coughs> to take and end up saying to say we, we you don't want an ad hoc committee, and to take and have an outside a, a meeting other than that they, outside. They have not. Nobody has stated that they don't want an ad hoc committee. What they've stated, and I just saw Carter's email was. They, he thinks it should be tabled until FY21. That's that, too long. So what, so what they're saying is whatever this committee come up with could not come up with it in time 
for the FY21 budget. Or in no, the of 20. course not, but I don't think any of us right. thought. Right, and no, I don't. Yeah. When, yeah. when they I asked, I, I told them, I when, when they asked me, and I was sitting right here, when they asked for how long did I think that this should take or whatever, I gave them a date of something like October 30th of yeah. next year. So yeah. we were trying to shoot out so that we know right. it's not going to happen right. for this year. It's, it's not I mean, going to affect the FY21 budget, I don't think. Right, I don't think any of us it might no. It might be in time for 22 budget. Right. right. But and I think that was the plan. Yep. Not and, if we table it until 21. Right. Yeah. Exactly right. And now, now you're talking 24. Yeah. I'd be dead by then. Oh, stop. Well, stop. <laughs> and, then, and then next year we'll table it again. Yeah. So, so it's easier. Right. So I, I'm going to, um, I, I will follow up with an email to the uh, chairman of the board of selectmen saying, um, a copy of. I, I put you all on when I send it no, to No, no. Copy of all the selectmen. I do. Oh, good. I do now. I learned. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, that, and I'm going to express our disappointment in the non-action of uh, our request for an ad hoc committee. Yep. Yes. Do you want that as a, a, mo a motion now? Okay. No, I'll just do it as chairman. Okay. Just simple communication, I think. Mm -hmm. All, right, All right. So any more discussion on that, uh, the committee discussing the budget or the ad hoc committee? I think okay. We I think we beat it to death. I mean, oh, wow, well, I think we did too. All right. So the next um, next thing we have is a uh, transfer request from our um, <coughs> emergency fund in the sum of uh, uh, five hundred dollars. This is, if you recall, when the um, auditor came in, uh, he stated that he thinks that they should do audits of each department like quarterly. Uh, and this basically is um, money that they didn't put aside and um, that uh, was for um, the training to do that. What do they need to look for? Um, so basically what they're saying is if, if, if you get us the training, we can do it. And um, if not, they could contract somebody to do it, but that's like $5,000 a year. So I think it should be part of are um, a um, of the treasurer's or the accountant's office. I mean, that's kind of what they should be doing. So I think giving them the training to do that is the right thing to do, personally. I guess you don't want to hear from me. Of course I want to hear from you. I have objection to this whole thing. Okay. I don't think it's sufficiently unforeseen. Okay, it was on the 19th audit which we just saw, mm -hmm. but it was also on the audit before that. So it's not unforeseen. This has been going on for a while, folks. Okay. Number one. Number two is that you don't end up, as you know, when we end up putting in an expense, we make an expense sheet out, we have to take an end up putting the voucher on from whoever we get the, the bill from, and we have to sign off and we have to vote for it. And it goes to who? The accountant. Where do you think all these other departments are doing the same thing? It's going through the accountant. To me, you do not end up having the accountant check on what she's receiving from departments. It should be an outside source. That's like checking on your own work, basically. If, she's, if she didn't do it or her assistant didn't do something right, are they going to report that? It, no, it should be by an outside source to report it to what? So we can correct it. I don't want to take and whitewash this and, and end up doing this. $500 for training. Do you realize that this is two hours at $250 per hour? When you can end up, and by the way, you can, you can look this up. You can go and ask. In Worcester, there's courses, basic 101 auditing. For $495 for a full day's seminar. Not two hours. Not two hours. Is that $500 per person, though? Yes. Okay. Yes. And if you look at this, it says that Kelly's going to go. It doesn't say two people are going. Okay. Okay. The other thing is, is how can we end up expecting 
an accountant who has stated time and time again that she has a heavy workload. We've heard that. We've heard that, especially with the BVAs, every month. I'm, I'm too busy. I, I, I'll get to that. On top of that, what did we just do? We just gave her the ability to, to go over to Hubston, and that's another subject, but for 10 hours a week. That cuts down her hours available to this community by 10 hours. So we're going to put on another couple of hours to a person that says that they're, that they're overworked already. And we, when we know it, it should be by an outside source, so that it's, it's really, it's, it's not taking care of your stuff internally here. It's by an outside source but, that's but you, independent, and they're going to look at it independent so that we can correct stuff. Okay, but you already pay for an outside auditor for the whole budget. This is spot audits to kind of help them make sure they're where they're at. This, this is not for her to do the audits. This is at, at the recommendation of the, the, the auditing firm is to, to go and audit individual departments once a year. Maybe one quarter she does one or two, another quarter through a couple of others. This is not for her to perform the audit. This is just for those spot audits that they recommended on... Um, so it's like it's like internal auditing yeah. periodically to make sure yeah. that you'll pass the audit when the right. auditors come in. Well, let me let me read this. This is this is <laughs> this is not my, and this is from this is from your administrator, and this is and he's he's quoting the auditor. He advises that not many municipalities do these and continue on to say most have us do two departments per year on a rotational basis to satisfy the best practice. He even says that other communities don't do it. Come on, guys. If other communities aren't doing this, on, on in, okay. their auditor, their accountants are doing it, why are we? Why are we? That's, I want to know that. Okay, so I think that we're doing it because the next line says... Have her come to my office in the spring. I'll give her a two-hour training and some checklists if you want to save some money. Okay. I, so I think this is a measure to save the money that we would spend to have an auditor come in. Okay. And I also think that this is something that potentially could have originally been on the accountant's budget. And then with the anticipation of the school and all of the other things that were happening, all of the department's they cut everything extra. So it could be that they cut their their normal amount that they maybe would have had. I don't have it in front of me, but um, the normal amount they would have had built in for trainings and those reimbursements that we see, they all do it. That maybe th this could have been built in and they took it out in an effort to just save. Because we, we talked about that here, too, and we it, cut our budget. I looked at that also. The same and, thing. And they didn't, so, cut, they didn't cut from this budget. So, so the okay. impression that I got. And if you look at the last sentence, basically, they can, I mean, they're going to wait till the spring to they can end up having it done. So I think what they're trying to say is if Kelly can do some of these internal audits, it may help the bigger audit process have it get done faster and save the town money. Yeah. That was how I read it that, as well. That is what I'm getting, that instead of having them come in for, you know, three or four thousand dollars or whatever it okay. says in there. Let, let me a, ask a, a couple let me of ask months. A question. Yep. When you submit the paperwork, shouldn't she be checking it over when you've submitted it? But she's not doing a full audit. There's a check. Whoa, 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 whoa. Every time you submit from our, from our committee. Yeah. Should she be checking it? Yes, yeah, she should. But that's, that's, an, that's basically an but, but, audit to, take and check, to check to make sure it's correct. Well, I'm not, an accounting, certain, I'm not an accounting major, so. And there are certain things you do when you're auditing, like, you know, you're, you're going and just double-checking procedures. You know, so yes, you have procedures in place that you're supposed to follow, but then you go and you just periodically pull documents to ensure that the procedures are followed. So, I mean, that's. You know, I've, I've done, done plenty of audits, business. and let me let me say this: um, I don't see that there is any 
any procedures in place. So I look at it this way. He could have made the recommendation that his firm come in, whatever, twice, three times a year, yep. or two, two departments a year on a rotating basis uh, at 5K a year, so that's an additional 5,000. Or he said, have Kelly come to my office, I'll train her how to do what we would do for 5K for $500, and there'll be a benefit to that. Can I throw in two cents over here from the section? Um, all of what everybody says, fine. My issue with this is a little bit different. My issue is simply, um, so he recommended this. He recommended a lockbox. Carter said it wasn't ideal for the town, and he removed it from our audit. So this isn't ideal either. Remove this. I'm just saying that, you know, the audit is saying things. The auditor said for capital planning, we should have our capital assets in line right. and so forth. And that was taken off this year, and we don't have our capital assets in line. We don't even know what the hell they are in town. So, so th my, my objection to this is this is just more for self-preservation, basically. This is more par Department A telling Department B that you need to do something so that we keep busy. So let me ask you, because there were certain might be things... Bad. And I don't remember, there were certain categories things fell under, mm -hmm. and I don't remember. Well, some of them were, like, critical, yep. and I don't remember where this flowed. I don't know if you recall. I, I don't either, but I don't think we had any criticals this I year, so I don't believe this was in it. Um, that was just my recollection of him saying, at least this year, there's none of these. I, and I also look at this as, as long as Kelly's here, it's, a, it's $500, a one-time bill, and, and if it saves us... Uh, if it saves here. us money uh, in the long run. I, that's where I don't object. I mean, I don't object to the fact that if we have to do this, this is the way we should do it. But I just don't believe we have to. that we have to. I believe this is a, this is a, one of those things, a built-in checklist yep. that he's created and he can eliminate, just like he did with the lock boxes and all these other things. You know, it's just a suggestion box. And we've just said, oh, that's a good one. That's cheap. We can do that one. But well, one of the things I think that they're trying to do with the auditor is that regard however many write-ups that they get, they're trying to kind of whittle those down. So maybe in a year or two or three, they have none that they come in. Now, I think you'll always have something. That's just reality. But I think that here's one they thought they could undertake um, you do know that other communities have uh, audit committees, do, do you not? No, I don't know that, and we don't, so it doesn't matter. I'm telling you then. I believe you. No, I believe you. I'm not saying I don't believe that you have it, but the town of Templeton does not have an audit committee, so mm -hmm. it's irrelevant. Yeah. Unless uh, you want to start one. <laughs> my, 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 my only thing with this is simply we don't spend the 3000 or 5000 now. So why are we spending the five hundred to avoid spending the three to five thousand? You know, I mean, maybe that we should, um, but I don't know that we will even then. So and, and here we are. We're going to. We're talking about another three to four months before this will happen. How many audits do you think it's going to happen be before July first that we're going to end up not getting, not seeing that on the next audit? I'd be, I'd be lucky if. It, it, I, it'd be, I'd be amazed if we get one in. Here we are in the budget season. Why not, if you want the $500, put it into this year's, this coming year's budget. We're at the budget season now. We're at that budget season now. And then, and then on top of that, to take and tell me you've got $2,396 still in the account and you're talking about something that's four months away, how do you know that you're not going to have that money? If we had a spend plan, we'd know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> One more. Tony, I never One more thought of that before. Uh, I, uh, I, uh, Don't I get me started on that because I'll, I'll have some stuff to say on that. <laughs> you know it. <laughs> and you it, would be, it, wouldn't be, it wouldn't be negative. It wouldn't no, be negative. You know how I feel about a spend plan. I think it's essential, but all right. Any more comments on the transfer? I'll make a motion to uh, reject this uh, request. 
Um, I don't know, is that an appropriate motion? Don't we have to make a motion to approve it? And no. if it goes to no? No, you're gonna end up making a motion to, to, to turn down the this report. This isn't in here, by the way. It's not in the management letter. Huh? It's not in this letter. Okay, so there was the letter and then there was the deep dive into it. Yeah, it's, well was I- Was that just something that he said? I don't recall. It could be, it says they inquired of him, so this could just be from the minutes of the meeting. I do remember them talking about it. I, I just thought it was in here, but I remember the discussion a little bit, but I don't, there's nothing in the paperwork. This does have the, um, the things that they consider. The major issues. Yeah. So, so, to, so is, uh, let me make, I'd like to just make one point of this. I don't know how busy Kelly will be between now and the end of July or end of June. That worked it out. Um, to where she could even take the time to do this training. Well, she's only working 28 hours a week. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but you have the assistant that's filling in the time she's at. Remember, they upped the assistant, but that assistant wouldn't be doing it. So my question is, could this training be done? Would there be any value to be have this training done between now and June, I don't the end so. of June, and have at least two or three departments audited. Because if it, if they can't, then you're right. They can just submit it in the budget next year. That's my thoughts. If you want it, put it in the this coming year's budget. I, 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 I'll make the motion to take and reject this All right, before with, you the, make with the motion, recommendation. Before you make the motion, let me ask you a question, a procedural okay. question. Okay. If you make a motion to reject it, yep. and just say it doesn't pass, does that <coughs> automatically mean the transfer passes? Or no, do we have to do no, a motion? It doesn't. You have to take a motion, make a motion. Okay. Um, okay. All right, so you're welcome to make any motion you wish. I'll make a motion to uh, reject this and indicate on there that uh, this should be part of uh, FY20 budget training. 21, excuse me. Yes. Make that recommendation on the, on the sheet when we. Second. Any further discussion? So the motion is to reject the transfer for $500. Uh, be advised that they do have a present balance of 2,396.37 uh, already in the, uh, it's the employee support account. Yep. Um, so. If anyone has any questions about that. And, and, and let me just make an, a, another comment. We've seen a couple of instances in the past, one for the police station, one for the fire department, which I thought were really emergency reserve things. They found other ways of funding it. I say the other way of funding this is taking end up putting it in the budget for next year if, they re if it's really truly okay. needed. All right. All right, we ready to vote? Bob? Yes. Amy? Yes. Lee? Yes. Deb? No. Will? Yes. And I'm a yes. Um, so the transfer is not approved. So maybe. I would have preferred it that, that if they had somebody. And it says, it, it, by the way, it says right yeah. in our, um, our policy statement that somebody should have been here. It's, it's unfortunate. I don't know how to use a copier, but I'll show you how to do it. <laughs> She'll even tell you the code. <laughs> oh wait, there's a code for the copier? Yes. Oh I don't know that. I do. Okay. Will will help us. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> All right. So that's that.
Isn't that yeah. the code for everything? Right. Yeah. Uh, that fail? One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that request, <laughs> so that was a request. Okay, so special town meeting. Uh, as you know, we have a special <laughs> town meeting coming up on the 15th. It's, there's one article. It's a citizen's petition. And based on the fact that it's a citizen petition, I don't believe that we should have a pre-town meeting, nor... It's required of us. No, not if it's uh, so. There's yes, no, it is. So I don't know when we're going to do it. I thought we didn't comment on citizens. Petitions. We don't. Yeah, I thought that was the thing. Is we don't comment on citizens' petitions. You're supposed to. The bylaw calls for it. Calls for, but I know what we said in the past, but it calls for it. Whether what for you should be having a pre-town meeting. I don't want to get gigged for not having a pre-town meeting. And having it, it's if we don't have a pre-town uh, meeting, it's going to take and show up somewhere along social media, blogs, or whatever. Uh, well, I'm not here. They don't, I mean, as soon as we, I'd have to schedule it for next week. I'm not here next week. Uh, I, I, Lee's not here next week. I don't know who else is not here next week. Um, I. I I don't know, I'd like to get a read from somebody on whether we really have to have a pre-town meeting for a citizen's petition. Bylaw calls for it. Which bylaw? Town bylaws. For all special town meetings? Yes. But, so, so here you have a catch-22, Will, because yep. we're gonna have a, a, we're gonna pay money to the Gardner News yep. to put a special town meeting in that nobody's gonna show up to or maybe one or two people to sit there and say we have no recommendation. I'm kind. Of, I'll take the hit for that. Uh, I mean, I, I don't want to spend taxpayers' money to put an ad in the paper to not to make no recommendation. I'm working on it. I mean, it seems you know you know what I, it seems kind of silly to to have a town meeting a pre-town meeting. And then when we're at the special town meeting, to have no recommendation either way. Uh, uh, uh. So w what's the fallback if we don't have one? Someone could just say, oh, you didn't do it. We can invoke the bylaw. Okay. Well, and, uh, what do I get kicked off the committee? I'm just, uh, uh, I was gonna say, I, I'm reading here and it does say all articles and any warrant for the town meeting shall be referred to the advisory committee for its consideration. Yep. The okay. board, after drawing any such warrant, shall transmit immediately a copy thereof to the chairman. Yep. A public hearing shall be held upon all such articles unless a public hearing by some other tribunal is required by law. And a notice of such hearing shall be given by inserting the paper, blah, 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 blah. It says nothing about uh, citizens petition in that that's 22 points 22-6 that's a special town meeting though well I think that it's a special town meeting I mean you can you, as chairman you can end up doing anything but I'm telling you that that's that's not necessarily the, the proper thing to do no I, and I appreciate that I mean I, I don't want to I don't really want to break a rule however <coughs> It just seems silly to me to spend seventy dollars to put an ad in the paper, to have a pre-town meeting, to not make a comment on it. So, which one are you reading, Bob? Twenty-two dash six. Review of all worn articles by advisory. I mean, does anybody else agree with what I mean? Yeah. Theory, it make you know, mm -hmm. yeah, it absolutely is the way you should go. But the the thing Can is, we, I, I mean, the, it seems as though the law contradicts rational thinking. So, like normal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I always right. throw in a little dig. I always. I mean, if there was something else on there, you know, then I'd say, okay, but it. It just doesn't pass the common sense test to me. Well, I'm surprised 
at this. There was something put out saying that the selectmen should not have approved the transfers, and that should have been left up to town meeting, and that's not on the warrant. What transfers? The uh, transfers the, from the community preservation fund. No, the transfers uh, on the, and the budget cuts, all the budget cuts, to cut cut the I budget. I think that they. I think that they can unilaterally cut that budget. I'm just telling you what was out there, and this was this was what from what one of the. Yeah, but I, I don't think that they transferred any money or anything. I think that they just made cuts, well, which is what they can do, right? right? Uh, well, it was put out there that they, they selectmen could not make the cuts. It should have been at, at a town meeting, and it's not on the warrants. But that's okay. Okay, I'm uh, just, right. I, I, that's a statement. I'm not going to take and debate it. It was out there. I didn't make the statement, so I can't I can't defend it or talk to it. I mean, and especially the, the, the article that's on there, um, so can we, are we not going to comment on it because it's a, it's, it's citizen a citizen's petition. petition. Yeah. So we don't need <coughs> to provide the writing or anything like that. No. That's how we've done it in the last few town meetings is anything that's a citizen, like the fluoride ones, we put the advisory committee has no recommendation. Because it's a citizen's petition. Okay. Well, if you look at Mass General Law, it says you're supposed to do it also. But that's no, no, we are we are seeing it. We are see absolutely seeing it. Well, we're absolutely seeing no, that. I, I, yeah, I don't. I, yeah, I don't. Dis I don't disagree with you, but I if our policy is because you know citizens' petitions are just that. We have, by the way, we have in the past come in on citizens' petitions. Okay. But uh, I was going to say, the only, the only thing that, you know, I'm trying to think of any detriment to not doing it as far as, you know, a legit de detriment. And, I mean, we wouldn't be putting a notification in the paper. So that's really the only. So could we discuss the, that warrant article now since I do have it on the agenda? I mean, do we want to discuss it? I mean, it's just to change the bylaw, change a bylaw. I. It doesn't specifically follow the whole pre-town meeting thing, though. Yeah, I was gonna say I'm I'm like reading it by hands are tied, pretty much. Yeah, I don't. You know, I mean, there's time to. There is probably time. Uh, if I sent it to her tonight, I mean, I guess we could get it in for Monday's paper, maybe tomorrow. Uh, no, probably not Saturday. No, you need like two business days. Yeah, and then if it's anything like the last fiasco we had, and. Um, and then who's here next Thursday? Um, I'll be here. I'm here. I could be here. We don't know about Faith, but the four of us would be quorum. I mean, the meeting. I mean, we come here, we open the meeting, we'll close the minutes. meeting, and yep. yeah. so we would be home by six forty-five. You'd have to run the meeting. Yes. <laughs> yes. What? Yes, yeah. you would have yep. to run it. Yes. Well, It'd be easy. Uh, Commander in Chief. Wait, wait, wait. Perhaps it's her it. duty to take and do Actually, it. Actually, next but, time. But there is caveats on that. You can end up delegating that authority. Hold on. Let me let me check to, something. To somebody else. Don't look at me. I didn't. <laughs> Not it. Well, are you, Not are you delegated guilty, to. Are you guilty over there because she I went this way? She already pointed at me. <laughs> and then she hid. <laughs> I'm completely I'm confident sure, in Deb's yeah. ability. I know. I think you guys that's will not steer me wrong. It would be next Thursday, right? Yeah. Uh, well, you hesitated. Thursday. That's why I said that. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Hold on. And I, I know I won't be here. So. Let me see what time in spirit. I get. Tomorrow will be a nice yeah. day. We won't vote just for you. <laughs> <laughs> um, Okay, I'll be here. Oh. <laughs> For the record, I you change your mind? No, I thought my flight got in later. Oh, uh, just depend, I, well, I've got something at work I'm doing, but I I will make time to be here. Okay, so I need to um, contact the librarians. 
yeah. Mm-hmm. In fact, I should do that before I leave here tonight. Or I'll do it tonight. I will send it to her tonight. Mm-hmm. Um, I got to call them. And I'll call her first thing tomorrow and see if she can get it in Saturday's paper and say, uh, you kind of owe us. But all right. And then I'll uh, email Holly. We probably won't know for sure that the room's available until um, Monday when Holly's in because she won't be here tomorrow. And she was going to give me access to scheduling, but something got messed up, and so I'm not able to schedule the room. Can we? Next Thursday, Next um, Thursday. Community Preservation and Recreation Committee. We can move down the hall. Uh, scheduled for 6.30 and 7. So we'll do our meeting at 6. Do it at 6? We'll do it at 6. We'll probably be done. Yeah, we'll be done at yeah. you know, 6. Can, can you make 6, Deb? I can, yeah. Okay. All right, well, that's the way, I, I mean, I just hate to spend $67. I think we're forced to. Okay. All right. We could change the bylaw. No, you can't. <laughs> okay. Is that a recommendation? I, no. <laughs> we're not going no. down that line, are we? Yeah, we're going to have to discuss that, our bylaw, for before the annual town meeting. So 6 right? o'clock next Thursday. Yeah. <sighs> Um, just changing my I will um, I think I can go in to the town government and schedule it um, so I will do that tonight and then I'll get the thing to the paper and I, I, it just goes against my principle but mm-hmm. so we we don't want to have any discussion of that this evening of what no Plan on having a discussion next week either. No, I'm just I'm, I'm not going to be there. But I uh, did you have a comment on it? Or did you well, want I, to make? I, I mean, we know what my my personal plan is for that. I, I mean, you're welcome to speak on it if you um, if you want. Well, well, I mean, well I'll, I'll put it to you this way: I, I canvassed for it. I got a significant number of people to sign and up for that. So I'll just and I and I, I understand that. what you said about citizens petition. But this is a citizen petition. To reinstate mm-hmm. a bylaw that was deleted. Yep. So that's totally different. So are you? It's totally different. Yeah, but it's still a citizen's petition. It's so, I'm sorry, I didn't hear what you said. Are you for or against it? I'm very much for it. Okay. Yep. So for the change. To put it back. Yes. Oh, okay. 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 So All right. Yeah. <laughs> I, sorry. I was hoping I just, there was yeah, a continuation. I, 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 no, I actually think yeah. most people. Are. I I would yeah hope that nearly a hundred percent of people vote yes on that. But yeah. we'll we'll see what happens. So. I agree. Okay. Okay. Uh, any old business? On the old business. Would you like? To, do you need to take and talk about old business? On the old business, I guess this would be on the old business, since it's been talked about before. Okay. As I said earlier, we've there's been criticism of individuals as well as boards and committees <coughs> about doing their jobs. Some of it, some of it is justified, not all. And one of the things that comes up about with the watchdogs, being a watchdog for the community, we should be looking at all the all the monies, and making a recommendation as to not spend money frivolously be specific okay i'll make a motion then my motion is this bob is going to take a thing around this (laughs) my motion is to take a make a recommendation (coughs) to be sent to all of the selectmen recommending that we get out of the agreement with hubbiston which would save us in the next couple of years, between twenty and thirty thousand dollars, and that we also put that as our recommendation, as in the editorial for the Gardner News, and also on social media, and have the the chairman write the letter up and put it in those medias. Okay, so that's there, my motion. Is there a second? No. From me. I'm, I, I understand what you're saying. I, I think that 
personally, I, I'm happy to put it on the agenda for um, our next meeting and possibly ask the TA or the assistant TA to come and explain the agreement to us. Because um, I, I have asked for that. Uh, we can make it. With you. All okay. I'm saying is we make it as a recommendation. This is um, the accounting, account agreement? Yeah, the accounting yeah. agreement. I, I would, before we go and splash things, I want to get more information. Mm -hmm. There's no, no offense, and I understand what you're trying to do. I couldn't support a motion right now until um, we get more information from the parties that made the agreement because I've asked that question. I've had concerns of how do we go into an agreement with the town of Hubbardston and it costs Templeton money. It should not. It should be a wash. Well, I'll tell you, I'm tired as a taxpayer especially after seeing my tax bill go up $250. I got my tax bill. It went up $250. Yeah, and sure and there's going to be a lot of other people that are going to be upset. And for us to take an end up spending this money on an agreement that has no bearing on helping this community, but spending an extra twenty dollars to $30,000 over the next three years is not financially sound. I agree and, with that. And we're supposed to be the financial watchdogs. I agree with that, but I want the town administrator to come here and tell us that that is the And case. you're going to end up getting the runaround, and he's going to tell you that, that there's benefits in it, and there is no benefits to us. Let me tell you. Well, then, it, then, then, then you I'm going to ask him that, but the, they're the ones that made the agreement. Then you know what? I'm going to take an end up starting to send letters out to the, all of these other communities and say, come make an agreement with Templeton. We're going to support and we're going to subsidize your budgets. We're doing that time and time again. Okay. I, like I said, I have <coughs> asked the TA for that information. Oh, by the way, I was told by a number of people that I shouldn't bring this up because none of you, none of you would end up going along with it. Because you you don't want to end up sitting in the position of making a recommendation. No, I'm not going to say I'm not going to go along with it, but I'm not going to go along with it until I get the information from the parties that made the agreement. If he sits there and tells us, well, yeah, the town will end up spending twenty to thirty thousand dollars over the next three years, I'm going to have a problem with that. But until I hear it from him, no offense, but did you not receive a? Uh, an email on December 12th? I probably did. It breaks it down. 37,041.45. And it's, it breaks down the accounting, the whole thing, the whole nine yards. Okay, and that's from and a citizen? And it says net cost to Templeton. And that email is from a citizen. That's not from a citizen. It is. No, it's not. It is not. He is not acting as a member of the Board of Selectmen there. Didn't we hear this discussion as well before this was officially entered into during the budget season last year? Nope. I seem to remember this type of discussion. After. It was after the agreement? It was after. After oh. the agreement. Okay. Because well, the agreement I fully was signed. agree with that we need to look into this. I, I, I have asked and asked for the information from the town administrator. I haven't gotten it. It's still I'll calling you, right? I'll double check, but... I just don't understand how they could go into it. Well, well, I, I don't think being stop nice asking, guys. Stop talking to the administrator. Send the recommendation to the to the selectmen and let the selectmen end up addressing the issue. We have once one person that's a, yes, he, he is a citizen. He's on there. He's brought this up a number of times. Let the, the selectmen discuss our recommendation. That's all I'm but, saying. But our recommendation is I, I want the town administrator to come tell me. He, who, or whoever made this deal with Hubbardston, wh why there's a benefit to the town of Templeton. I, I yeah. haven't seen it yet. Well, I'm going to tell you what he's going to end up saying. No, he's, don't tell me. Don't tell me. Okay. Because I want him to tell me. Okay. Because he's, point, he's pointed out other, other things... And he's saying that, that that's benefit to this to us, and I don't, I, I haven't seen any okay. benefit. Okay. I haven't seen any but benefit. You gotta let the man defend himself. I mean. Whoa, 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 whoa! 
the selectmen got into the uh, into the agreement. It wasn't the administrator. I'm saying get well, a he, recommendation he did to it the based on. The, they went into it based on his recommendation. Okay, so we make a recommendation to them. It's up to them to take and decide whether they want to continue or not. It takes six months but, to but get on this. We make a recommendation to them, but we, I don't believe we have all the facts and the numbers. Mm -hmm. We have what Jeff presented. Have you read the Have you read the agreement? I have not read the agreement. I have. Is it Is it Is it public? Yeah. Yes. I sent it to you already. Did you? Yeah. Just because that's my. Okay. Next thing. <laughs> I, well, I knew you wanted to talk about that. So. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Um, um, so I'll, I'll just, I'll just, you mind if I just enter in? I, I sent everybody an email um, earlier with the three IMAs that we have, one of Hubbiston, one of Winchington, and one with Phillipston, yep. because I think it would be only doing some due diligence for us to be reviewing these. Um, and actually, uh, I think maybe the reason we got uh, the copy of the new contract or whatever is because it was asked for um, because of this. Um, it was stated that we should be able to review the contracts yep. prior to them signing. Right. Um, that's what we're here for. Yep. Um, and I think, you know, my, my suggestion was going to be for us to review these, you know, over the next whatever so that we're familiar with them and then make a recommendation to the board potentially on all of them. Okay. Um, for what we think might be adjustments or, let's say, refinements. Because if you look at them, they're, they're very vague. Um, and we ran into this, just as a, a sidebar on this, uh, we ran into this issue with capital planning. The um, agreement for the animal control officer with Winchington. The agreement has a big paragraph that states that we are responsible for the, the vehicle. It doesn't say type, shape, condition, any of the amenities added to it or not added to it, who's responsible for any of that. And all it says is uh, basically acceptable to, and I believe it's the chief of, uh, in Winchington. The vehicle needs to be acceptable to him. Um, so how the heck do we know what to buy? Because you know right. every one of those animal things yep. has a cage in yep. the back that fits a certain vehicle yep. that doesn't fit others. So that type of stuff has to go. I agree. Um, so that's why I think we need to review these. So Somebody we, does um, because... Put it on our next meeting agenda. That was my request. And, and this would cover what I think what you want is let's look at them. Give us a chance to really look at them. I, I, and well, I, and I don't disagree with you. If it's bad for the town, we need to get out of it. And, 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 I, and I will and, say... And I'm not saying... I'm not saying that you're incorrect in what you're stating. It's no. just that I think it's only fair to allow the people who entered into the agreement to defend it. Not everybody is there. Uh, well, well, yeah, well whoever's available. Yeah. That, that you give them the opportunity more to than defend 50 percent it. Of the, more than 50 percent of the, the people that recommend that are gone. Okay. But I do. I think the rest of our board, our committee, has to look at them and be comfortable with them before making a recommendation and I do believe Will's recommendation is 100% legit. I, myself, because I have looked at it, right. I do know the numbers, I've gotten the responses from Carter, he's explained it to me and I still think it's... Yeah, so, 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 so I'm not saying that Will's incorrect. No, I, I, I get that, but you don't, just, you don't have the first hand information, the, so... information and, and I don't want to speak for it, but I think, I haven't been on this board a while, that it, it's uh, to do the due diligence to get the information. Right. Everybody Strong needs people. to be sitting here at the same comfort yep. level with what's... Yep. I agree. I know Will does a lot of research, and, and I really don't doubt his numbers, yeah. but I do believe <coughs> that you have to give the people who entered into these agreements the opportunity to defend them. And I don't want anybody saying something off of what I say. Well, I mean, I say a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, that's that one. So I don't have a problem with you bringing it up, and I, I think it was some good discussion. Okay. So if someone told you you shouldn't have, um, well, they were wrong. Because, yeah, and whoever told you that somebody discussion. wouldn't agree on this board was absolutely wrong, Well, Yeah, 
No, I <laughs> don't. That's that's the impression that somebody's that some people are watching. Well, that, that, I, I'm I'm well, I'm only telling you what the feedback I I get. Yeah. Can I end up talking about another one? I guess it, it it'd be on the old business. It would be on the old business. Okay. Everybody received it, and I think maybe this one should we should ask a question before we end up looking at it because we just received it at eight. About eight thirty this morning, right? You know what I'm talking yep. about. Mm -hmm. The debt, the debt schedule. Right. I have not had a chance to look at it. I'm amazed at this. The term of three of the the debts. Okay, just gonna scroll down a little bit. So you see it. What does it say for term right there? Where is it? Sorry. Yeah, right there. It says term. Oh, term. Some of them are, well, the lower ones are 14.9, 14.8 years. Okay. Is that what you mean? Yep. And when is the year the payoff is? Fiscal year 44. How many years is that away? 20, about 24? A little over 24? Mm -hmm. How, can, how yeah. can the term be? I, I, I mentioned I, I have no idea how. Either, okay. either the data in there is wrong or I'm seriously misinterpreting what I think that data is. But per the term, those expiration dates make no sense whatsoever. Okay. So, so can I make when a recommendation? When you go into a bond, it's for, and we already know the bond was for, for 25 right. years, by, right. by the way. Right. Yeah. We saw that. Right. So if All I take right. out a 30-year mortgage and my payoff date is seven years in the future, there's something. Okay, so can I make a recommendation? There's something wrong with that. So I, uh, I, I and it, what, I'm I gonna, like that, what I was going to recommend, is I was bringing it up, is to ask the question, about the disparity. Okay. Yep. So, so what I I'd mean, that, that's what that was my recommendation. Yeah, so, so what I'd like everybody to do is, over the next week or so, <coughs> um, or whenever you can, take a look at the IMAs. Um, those we may take a, since they're already agreements. Um, it may be a little harder, but we'll we'll work. We'll figure out a schedule of maybe we'll do one a meeting. But with the with the debt schedule. Uh, if you have any questions, send them to me, and I will send them to um, Adam, and um, and get answers from him. Well, that would be if you can pass that one on to Adam, yep. so we so we have so we have an answer before the next meeting. Okay, and he'll watch this meeting. So, yeah, yeah he was going to come tonight, but he had to go to other ground. Yeah. yeah, Can I make a recommendation that the first IMA that we look at is with Hubbiston? Sure. If you want to, if you're going to sure. pick it up. So, so when I, when I put a call out for agenda topics, probably next week, uh, just someone remind me, this is one of the, mm -hmm. uh, things, the Hubbardston IMA debt schedule. Um, I try to just update it one time mm -hmm. and I will do it. It'll probably get updated <coughs> on Saturday because I'm traveling Sunday. Twelfth, and I won't be back until the day of the meeting. So, mm -hmm. all right. Any other old business? Any new business? <coughs> any monkey business? No. Based on the stuff you've shown me, I, I was going to say the only the only thing that I was going to suggest, and it seems m a little bit more relevant today, is that again that we throw on our list of things to look at is the audit contract, also. Um, you know, and I say that basically because our present contract goes against best policies of uh, the DOR and uh, DLS in its longevity and uh, so forth. And it, it kind of concerns me, and I mean, this is nothing to do with the individual people, but, you know, we're we're fighting best practices in a lot of areas yep. um, right now. Um, okay. and, and I just think that, you know, we as the financial. And, and oh, know. by the way, to go along with that, Bob, and, and I, I don't disagree with you, it, it should be looked at as, as a thing. If you look at other communities, they have audit committees. And one of the functions of the audit committees is to make a recommendation as to who the auditors are. I mean, we could end up making that as a recommendation to the selectmen as to, as to uh, 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 out of that. I believe that it should be, it should not be done by 
internal people that are working for the community, per se, in the job that are going to get audited. I, and that's, that's not a reflection on that, but it's, it's due diligence is to take it end up looking at the length of the term and looking at we should best of practices, we should be changing that on a regular basis to not only get a good price, but to get a different perspective on audits. I mean, different audit, auditors do their audits differently. Mm -hmm. One of the things that we saw is they stopped an audit because it was going to be so intense. There was, and I don't disagree, there was more money. I, I, I saw that. But they were going to take it, end up doing the, the audit at a much broader, in depth audit of our finances for 13 to 17, which I sh we probably should have because there was things that were brought up that <coughs> it took quite a while to correct. I mean, we saw that we saw that all played out in in in, in, in emails and everything else. Is I found this, I found that, and this is from our internal people that they had to go correct stuff. And I, by the way, I understand why. A lot of people still don't understand why we had the problem with our finances. When you change from one, one, audit, <coughs> one accounting system to another. It doesn't go smoothly, and people didn't understand the last accounting system at all, and they couldn't figure out what was going on. So that only made it worse. Mm -hmm. And that caused problems for inexperienced people when they came on board to give this committee <coughs> information as well as the selectmen on data that we needed to take and do budgets. And I agree with you, Bob. It, it needs, we, we shouldn't continue down this road. We, we've got to take and do a better job of business all the way around and, and follow best practices better than we have. Not the same road. Because we keep going down the same road. I keep seeing, uh, as long as I've been here, I see the same things coming up that I saw when I first got on. I mean, I could talk about all the things that I saw way back when it was it, it, just one thing and you brought it up about capital plan do you know in 13 that this committee talked about asset management and the first the first time that an inventory was done was done by Jeff Ritter he did it on an Excel sheet and that was when we found out there was problems that's when they stopped doing them Exactly, and and it would get, it got dropped. So to take and bring it up now again, all it, all we're doing is rehashing stuff that's been a problem to this community forever. We've got to get out of this cycle. <coughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Chairman. I just no, it's okay. When I get on a band, I'm I get on. know how you get. <laughs> <laughs> Don't give him a podium. Gee. <laughs> no, he's got a lot of good information. Yeah. Except when he brings up other communities. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't catch that. I know you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> you want to repeat that? I will when we're off camera. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, last thing is uh, any other member comments? Okay, um, next meeting will be the uh, pre town meeting next Night. Thursday, hopefully. Uh, at 6 o'clock, and then after that we'll have our normal meeting on the 16th. I hope it's brief because I have a birthday party for a 95-year-old. You mean on next week? Next Thursday. Well, yes. if we'll you make it bring it we'll take pie. as long as it takes, Mr. Yeah. Spring. <laughs> yeah. Dude, you're the one that's making you us have tell this Tell him to save you a piece cake. I'm bringing a podium. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Any, uh, anything else? Entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. We're adjourned.